Road trip, foggy, icy roads should be fun. We're gonna have him drive. Anyways, at first, because he's sick and we don't want him riding with us. Just a little congested. He's not sick, he's just congested. I'm driving! Cody, are you taking front? Care. Anyways, it's not that far, three and a half hours, but it is very icy roads and foggy. So we'll see what we get into. Should be a fun video, should be a fun experience. Good morning. Here we go, boys. I used my little Keurig Mini again. I got coffee too. A third sugar. No spilling in here, boys. Wow. Sure here we do it. This oh, wait, I, I did buy that insurance that you did. It's worth it. Is it? Well. I it. hope so, because my <laughs> seat's already... Ah, we won't talk about it. <laughs> the insurance that if you spill or rip a seat, they replace it or something? See, I hope it's So I guess spill console. spill whatever you want, I guess. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Well, we've made it 10 miles and he needs antifreeze. Brody, slide on the ice and show him. Yeah, that's what we're driving on. Oh, Woo. So when we did that new fan drive there, we had to drain all the coolant out. Woo. Oh, smell that antifreeze. <laughs> Are you enjoying the drive? Well, my feet are sweaty. <laughs> Does she break sign. loose? The funnest thing to do with a semi is drive on ice bobtailing. There's no weight to, it gets really slippery and scary. So hopefully the farther south we get, the better the roads get. You know that's blue and it's supposed to be red, don't you? Somebody has uh, made a mistake and <laughs> sold me the wrong stuff again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Blue, yellow, red, green. Well, now we have purple. That should be good. We might as well put it on the list, change antifreeze. And we never really know what we're supposed to add to this. So it's maybe a conglomeration of disaster waiting to happen in Iowa. All right, boys. I can't believe this. Come on, little girl. Just watch. <laughs> Why is it not going? It's got too the much seat computer. belt's not on. I think I tore something. <laughs> Uh, that was a rev limiter. I think there was a fart out the back. That was the rev limiter, I think. We finally found it through the fog and ice. It's not any better down here in Iowa. We're in Iowa, right? Yeah. yeah. Barely. All right, now we're looking for a building. In the south end to sea. All right. Well, they got buildings over here too. Yeah, that's Benji. He's here. Yep. We uh, got the sweet opportunity to be able to tour their plant from my understanding. So we're gonna go in, talk to them. I think we're gonna eat something before we hook up to the trailer, I believe. Oh. Lights are on, let's go. So we're gonna walk through the process, I guess. Starting at the beginning, they fed us a lovely chicken sandwich. Delicious. <laughs> it was good. I wish the food at the farm was that good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys all all seen lasers and how they work? Yeah, a little yeah. bit, not much. We did La lasers like the old, like Star Trek stuff. To me, you take the, uh, the CO2 laser down that corner. Is, that is old technology down there. That is. Uh, you're taking a beam of light, you generate a beam of light in the resonator, and bounce it off of 13 different gears inside the laser, to where it finally comes out to study and does the study. The fiber laser over here, they're generating that beam of light in that, in that box there, and it's going through fiber optics, so it's just one straight line, the only mirror is inside that head. 
bring it down. And that's cutting that fast? Yes. Yep. Wow. So what he was just saying is that that machine cuts for 20 hours a day. They work two 10 hour shifts and it's it's running the whole time. Just cutting steel for building trailers. So Demco has two sites. We're in the Spencer one right now and they just do trailers here. And we're trying to keep our flow. It's hard to do when we're in different buildings. So we're trying to keep our flow all going to the north. That's where everything's cut. Yep. Now the welding starts. Now the welding starts. Look at how long that is. How long is this? This building is 500 feet long. 500 feet only, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Up here, they're taking those beams that they're building, putting them to build the neck of the trailer, okay. and build the body of the trailer. They build them in these fixtures. Okay. We start to put a new one together in a fixture. This, this one is ready to go down to the next bay and start assembling the whole trailer. So right there you can see the fifth wheel and the semi tires would be underneath there. That gets welded on the front of there yep. some, at some yep. point. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So this is a hopper bottom. Obviously, you can tell. Steel hopper bottom. And they got the axles on, Brody. Looks like he's wasting wire. <laughs> That's his concern. He's wasting wire. Wow. It is crazy. You see these things going down the road, but to actually see the stuff built is absolutely mesmerizing. They weld nicer than we do. <laughs> Sounds like what? Eric in the shop. <laughs> yeah. What fascinates me is that you, everyone has a job here, obviously, and they all know what they're doing, and they look like they're doing it very well. We're working in teams everywhere. Okay. We try to balance our line. So from start to finish, from cut to finishing, this is going to be a water trailer? This one is a drop deck trailer. Okay. How long does that take from start to finish? From start to finish, we usually figure one month. Okay. Four weeks to get a trailer. And that's including paint. That's, that's paint. Okay. So that laser machine is what obviously cuts all those holes. And look at this, how precise. It is so precise that when they slide these through, they just quick weld them. That is so fascinating how precise all this is. So this is actually extensions for combine grain hoppers, if you guys are familiar with those. This is uh, where they're making their head trailers for corn, be corn or bean heads. Brody goes, look, it's my Impala, because there's, there's two lug nuts on it. <laughs> And it's not even tight. Oh, that's Brody's Impala. <laughs> Here's where they're welding. And they've got it in a jig. So it literally holds everything square. They've got the table made to make these. So they just set the tubes in that are all pre-cut. Start welding. He was just telling me that they will actually weld that whole trailer up on that table. Once they take it off, there's only a couple of welds that they have to flip the trailer for to hit. Every welder, it sounds like, works in pairs, so they they work crossways from each other, so nothing gets missed. So we're in the paint, paint, paint building. Okay. So this is the building that we're painting all of our trailers in. This paint booth here is where we're putting paint all of our trailers. And all by is, hand? No, two part liquid paint or the core salt product that we talked about. But the machine paints it, or no? Yeah, they're painted by uh, people. Okay. I'm sorry. But they're riding these man lifts. There's man lifts on each side. Okay. So that they can go up down the full length of the booth out to the center. We need that. Yeah, that's what we need for pressure Where do you washing. Get that? There you go. Yeah. Huh. We gotta get that. Look at this machine. This is what they stand in. This would be amazing for uh, pressure washing combines off. Something smells like skunk. Did a skunk from, get loose in here? It smells like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, what it is, it's the wash chemicals. Everything's hot water heated. For cleaning. It's, a, it's the chemicals for cleaning steel. This is prep building, so everything's coming out of weld directly in the prep. He's getting uh, chemically treated to get with wash. Caulking, we do all the caulking in here, and then they're ready to go to paint. This is what I bought? Yep. Oh, this is the nicest one I've seen all day. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, sweet. 
So this is going to be our new uh, spray tender trailer, which is in fact why we're down here and asked for a tour because it's just fun and very interesting how they start on literally pieces of flat steel or square tubing yeah. and then this is the end product. You put an oak floor on for us? No, this is Apatong. Apatong is, it's a sought after wood for trailers. They're going to be out in the elements. Yeah. Apatong has a very tight grain to it where it doesn't absorb water but you can still put a nail in it. So these tanks are 100% clean out then? Nine. Nine. <laughs> One. I've never had to use them before. Okay. Because I don't have it on our operation, but oh, what I was saying, you might have some that settle in here. Yep. Especially if you park. But for the most part, for the, the most part, the middle. This, this, all so this in. is slope, slope the middle and the front back slope down. So you might have very little there. Okay. This is where I'll be making magic happen for you boys this year. Eric's starting to get excited. So they come with air hookups here for blowing, blowing your liquid hoses out. We've got power there that we'll hook up to our roll tarp, tarp plug-in. Yeah. So we've got power for pumps, electric start motors. Always. Don't need a battery on it. Shoulder shot anyway, so can't pull start anymore. No. So I got the slow start chainsaw. Yeah, same here. It's gentler. <laughs> I'm amazed you guys give a crap because this is, this is for me. <laughs> My job now. Oh well, yeah. This looks like the building I'd like to work in. This is where they do wiring. This is where they're finished. Yep. Wiring, no tires. So this is obviously a hopper bottom getting final details started on it. We got the, some of the lights in working on the tarp system now. Looks like that one's been outside a while. It's a little bit of a puddle underneath it. <laughs> hey, I like that color. I like that. So this one's actually pretty dressed up, um, loaded up model. This has a, looks like a, you said these are electric traps? Yep. So ours are hydraulic. Yeah, these are electric. Okay. So this one's pretty loaded up. Gold yes. tarp, yep. electric traps, they got lights under here. Aluminum rims? This guy's gonna be, have a heck of a trailer. Yeah, this is a nice one. <laughs> you guys remember the summer when we were cutting up uh, grain bins on our yard and dumping them into that guy's trailer that came to do it? This trailer is basically the same thing, only obviously brand new. So you sell these to like scrap yards, yep. dump yards, yep. really anything. I mean, they're built really heavy to yep. all sharp. Scrap. Yep. Yep sharp, jagged, ugly objects. So they magnet, like this don't dump, does it? Nope. It just nope. opens up. They load it in like with a claw or a magnet, and then, yep, the whole back end opens up, and then they'll, they'll Drag pull it, it out. out with yep. the magnet, yep. probably. Sweet. We got all these cool things to look at, and Brody's obsessed with this creeper. He says that's the one to have, and that's what he wants. And the way they mark their tools. Oh, yeah, really? That's white. what it is? This one's white. I think that one's red. We're learning. Now you'll be taping everything. <laughs> so here's the completed head trailer from paint. I maybe shouldn't say completed. That guy's still putting some stuff on. Hitches get installed here. Very interesting just watching this. So I'll do my best to show the process, but it's cool. Spencer's putting on the header brackets. Nice. So this is the Final step for the head trailer then, right? That's correct, yep. Well, final step for everything in here. Yep, and on the head trailers, you know, we put the brackets on, the tie-down straps, you know, again, the decals, the wiring for the lights, yep. You gotta be a professional electrician to do this, or? No, you know, we gotta <laughs> get work procedures down for everybody to run it, but yeah, a lot of it comes kind of plug and play type. Yep. We use truck light lighting on a lot of our our products, which is really good. We've confused him. Do you know which direction we're going? In the end, I'm going straight up. Straight up. <laughs> it's a big place. Yeah. So in Boyd, it's a lot more all in one building. We do have a couple several ones. But over there, I, it makes me smile every time you walk through there because you see the structure. And then you walk through some doors and you see more building. It's just like they expanded. We expanded, <laughs> expanded. And this is where we all started, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep, there's the vending machine. 
And they don't have Mellow Yellow. That's disappointing. No Mellow. Well, now we gotta go. <laughs> We're back in the vehicle. We're gonna go hook up to our new trailer. The first hookup. Here we come. Am I gonna have to scoot over? No, oh, I think go up. Razor up. Sweet! You gonna crank it? Well, there it is. Now we're homeward bound. Hopefully the ice ain't on the roads no more. The fog's gone. We'll talk more about this trailer when we get it in our shop and uh, kind of the features and decisions of why we went with this setup. And uh, yeah, we're ready. I'm excited. Brody's excited. Well guys, we made it home last night, safe and sound. It's just a three and a half, four hour drive. Uh, we got her home, look at the poor truck. It's just, we gotta wash it today. Salt all over it, brand new trailer, salt all over it. But that is what it is in Minnesota at this time of the year. Dad did hit a deer on the way home, luckily no damage to the truck. Um, but that's also this time of year. They're all herded up and on the roads. Let's go over the trailer a little bit. Um, this is Demco's spray tender trailer. Um, they come like this. So you can add whatever equipment you want on there. We got nice ladder, we got power here. We've got air to blow out lines here. We also have the same thing right here. Power and air. Um, we're gonna do quite a few little or different things putting this thing together. It's gonna be a sweet setup. We have under deck storage here. 32 50 gallon tanks, front and rear. They make lots of different options uh, as far as tire. You can do air ride. This is spring ride. Um, you can get them in triple axles. Obviously this is just a tandem. Uh, this is a 48 foot trailer. I believe that's the longest spray tender trailer they make. I think they said the most common was the 42 foot, but I don't like being restricted a space, so we went with the longer model. Overall, very pleased. You will see a lot of this this winter. Um, I know lead times on some of the products we're gonna be putting on this trailer are out a ways, so it might be a here and there video, but you will see a lot of the, us working on this thing. I'm super pumped for it. I'm excited to not be in the curtain side trailer this summer. Yeah, this has been in the works for quite some time because there's a lead time on these trailers also, just like everything else in America right now or maybe the world. I said something had to change when I was in the uh, curtain side this early summer. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Uh, go check out Demco. That was a really awesome experience getting to tour their plant. Thank you guys for giving us the tour of that. Um, it is a family owned business and it was a awesome experience getting to learn about the company and pick up our new trailer there. Um, thank you guys and thanks for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. That's all I got for you. Thanks